Praise the Lord, everyone. Brother Roop here. We are enjoying another Bible study here. Book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 13. And as you can see in my red line, uh, the context changes. Uh, we are switching from the island of Cyprus where our heroes were preaching. That's the Apostle Barnabas, Paul, John Mark, and Luke, who's recording the story. So Paul leaves Cyprus and he sails back to Asia Minor. So that's it's all it's important to mark uh, the change of context because uh, the story changes. Uh, it might be the same person relating the story or or like Paul, during his missionary journey, he's the main character, but the his audience and where his audience is located has changed. That's especially important in the Gospels. So, verse 13, I'll read to you. And now when Paul and his company loosed from Paphos, they came to Perga in Pamphylia, and John departing from them, returning to Jerusalem. John referring to John Mark, or as, like in the Gospel of Mark. So, those with him, Paul and his company, uh, Barnabas and John, and perhaps others um, who were converted at Paphos or the rest of the island of Cyprus, uh, it was common back in those days for converts to Christianity to attend to the apostles on their travels. Because you got to remember, traveling back in those days was very dangerous. There was bandits on the roads. And so if you're a new convert, uh, you'd be grateful. And you'd probably escort Paul and his company to make sure they didn't get robbed or beaten up. Um. They came to Perga in Pamphylia. Pamphylia was a province in Asia Minor. Uh, lying against Cyprus, having Sicilia to the east, Lycia to the west, Presidia to the north, and the Mediterranean on the south. Perga was the largest city of Pamphylia. And it was situated not on the seacoast, but on the river Cestus at some distance from the mouth of the river, which is um, kind of unusual. Usually the larger cities would be on the seacoast because that's where the ships would dock. That's where a lot of com commerce would be taking place. Um, there's a mountain near it. It's a celebrated temple of Diana is located on it. So, a lot of uh, pilgrims to worship Deanna would probably go there, spend a night, and make some commerce. Uh, John Mark departed from them and Barnabas. Why he departed from them is unknown. Um, it might have been fear of danger in Asia Minor. Or maybe he was spooked traveling unknown regions. We don't know. Uh, but it's plain from the text in chapter 15, verse 38, that it was from some cause um, that he had with, uh, with Paul. So what exactly they fussed about, we don't know. They disagreed about something. So... Um, we don't know what they disagreed about. Uh, Luke, who's recording the story, uh, decided that it was not important to the story. And so, we don't know. Um, Barnabas. Let's talk about Barnabas for a minute. Um, this is Barnabas. He was a Levite from Cyprus. I think I mentioned that earlier video. We see that in the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 36. Um, not to be confused with the heretic Barnabas. Uh, you know, there's, just like today, you know, there's a lot of people with the same name back then. 
Um, and there was also the case with Barnabas. Uh, don't confuse it with Barnabas of Alexandria. Uh, that's also a well-known Barnabas. He was a, a Christian pagan heretic. Uh, he wrote his own self-styled anti-Semitic uh, epistle of Barnabas. His that that book he wrote gets a little fanfare these days. The Episcopal of Barnabas, where he claimed to have heard the voice. Of God who said, I will make the beginning of the eighth day, which is the beginning of another world. So, <laughs> so I don't know what Barnabas of Alexandria was smoking when he wrote that, but uh, it's not good. The, the Barnabas of Alexandria epistle became part of, quote unquote, the gospel from his uh, Christian observance of Sunday is the Lord's Day. Origen, another heretic, um, referred to his letter as the Catholic Epistle. Yeah. Um, so don't confuse him uh, with this heretic. Um, if Origen, if that heretic Origen uh, uh, uh uh, is supporting him you know he's a heretic so, <laughs> so. and the uh, the epistle of barnabas is not from our barnabas the godly of barnabas who is a traveler with paul he was the good of barnabas so there were two different people so don't confuse the two the barnabas of the book of acts is the awesome of barnabas who helped start the church the Barnabas of Alexandria was a heretic who wrote heretic writings, and uh, we should not confuse the two. So, verse 13, Book of Acts, uh, our, our heroes are uh, going back to Asia Minor to continue their missionary journey. And we will pick it up at verse 14. God bless y'all. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and uh, ring the bell. God bless you.